Mr. Ricardo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? All good, man. I'm good. I'm excellent. How about you? How are you? It's fine. It's uh, the, this day. It was a uh, a windy. <laughs> I think that. Oh yeah, man. That's that's. I was I was talking to one of my friends about that. Uh, it's been pretty windy now. You know, lately. I have no idea why. Yes. <laughs> but I love it, man. I love the weather. Yes. I love this weather. Okay. I <laughs> hope the weather. The weather is crazy. <laughs> I hope every day. You know. Hope it was like this, but it isn't most of the time, right? Yes. All Good right, evening, man. Everybody. Good evening, Good sir. Evening. Hello, 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 guys. Oh. All right, hold on, guys. Hold on. All right. Hello, guys. Welcome. All right. How was your day today? Caesar, welcome aboard. Nelson, Michelle, how are you guys? Fine, fine, fine. Thank you. Hello, 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 I guys. I hear that you like the weather, but for me, I don't like it. You don't like it? Come on, no. man. <laughs> we're, we're, it's been hot. Yeah, like but the, the air is, is, I don't like. You don't like the air? No. What do you mean you don't like the air? You need it to. The, the, the wind is. No. Oh, you don't like the wind? Okay. No. Okay, why not, man? Uh, in my case, I had to... Uh, all the windows must be closed uh, and the doors because it's strong. Oh, okay. All right. That's that's why? Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. No, man, I love it. It's, I, I think it's it's wonderful. All right. Uh, but welcome, man. Gio, how are you? How's your hey. How was work today? How are you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, how was work? I was very, very busy. <laughs> oh, really? Why? Yeah. What do you do? A lot of work. I have work for today and even for the weekend, I think. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a pretty busy week, huh? Yeah. All right. Very good, very good. Uh, we're missing Michelle. Hello, Michelle. How are you? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Well, it's been a very busy day. I have been doing some homework that I had before, and I didn't have the time. Also, um, I had been doing so many uh, things related to my studies. Oh, so you're... you're uh, uh, you go to homework the and sending homework. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's good. What about you, Nelson? How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, teacher. But uh, I have a question, teacher. Because uh, uh, yesterday I didn't get on time in the class. But today I I, I tried to, to find the, the previous class in YouTube, but I don't know where, where are uh this class oh you mean that you didn't find the channel it's in the same uh you should have a list guys uh, you, you should have a youtube list um if you didn't find it guys that's okay uh i mean they, i don't know do you have have you been able this is my question okay, have you been able to take a look at the previous classes I mean, have you can you have you been able to watch the other videos, or or you don't have the link for doing that? That's that's what I'm referring to. Yes, we have the link, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. I haven't tried. <laughs> All right. All right. Sounds good, guys. Sounds good. Okay. All right, guys, so today, guys, we're going to talk about present perfect versus simple past, okay? Really not difficult to understand. I think that the most difficult part is actually to understand what we use it for, you know? But aside from that, guys, I think it's, you know, it's, it's pretty easy most of the time. All right. All right, guys, so... 
what do so what's the structure guys for making what do you think we use simple past for let's start with that okay what is simple past used for when the event is is occurred in the past okay when an event occurs uh, in the past and finish the past oh who mentioned that who brought that I up and in the past okay Me. very good guys okay right so when an event happened in the past and it ends um you know it ended, it ended in the past yeah. right very good okay that's it yeah. guys class is over now thank you <laughs> okay, there's, more, there's more to it than that of course right right so yes guys there's more to it than that <clears throat> so let me go ahead and bring up the presentation okay let's take a look at some of the differences and then we're going to go over the one we have on the the, the, the one presentation we have online, guys, okay? All right, on the platform, okay? Very good, guys, okay? So, Ricardo, would you please be so kind to help me read? Okay. Uh, present perfect. You must always use the present perfect when the time of an action and not important or not specified. You must always use the simple past when the Tales about the time or place or place that an action cure are giving or request. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, applause for Ricardo, guys. Good job, Ricardo. Well done. Okay. Thank. You. All right. Hey. Mm -hmm. So, if you're not being specific about the time, then you can use, and you must actually use, guys, present perfect, right? Now, if you're going to be detailed about the time, then, you know, you can use simple past, right? And that's pretty much the big difference. Now, one of the things we use sim uh, present perfect for, guys, is to talk about experiences, okay? To talk about what? We use it to talk okay. about experience, okay? Very good. So let's compare, guys. Okay, let's compare a sentence in present perfect and simple past. Okay, and try to infer what you know what is understood by each of them. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, Caesar, do my favor and let's read the first one. Okay. Uh, present perfect. I have lived in Lyon. Okay, I have lived in Lyon. Right. Now Leon. this is pronounced Lyon because it's it's a city from France. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, so I lived in Leon, right? All right, second example, Nelson. Okay, simple pass. Yes. I live in, I live in Leon. In I, I live? I think I live in Leon. I lived, right? I lived? I live. I live in Leon in 1989. Very good, okay. Now, can I say I lived in Leon? Can I say, can I only say I lived in Leon? No, it's in simple past not. Why not? It is necessary to specify specify. All right. Now guys, yes, you can use it, guys. I mean this is one of the uses. Okay, this is this is something that I don't want you to get confused with. All right. So if you say guys something like okay, I lived in Leon. Now, do you live here nowadays? Yes or not? Mm -mm. Not no, anymore. No, you don't not live anymore. here nowadays, right? But the thing, guys, is that you can say this, okay? It's okay. I mean, if I asked you, hey, where did you used to live when you were a kid? Oh, I lived in Leon. Now, that would be correct. Why? Because I asked you when you were a kid. Got it? So I... I'm being specific about uh, I'm being specific about the time, okay? So if I ask you something like that, guys, okay, where did you used to live? Or where where did you live? You know, where did you live? Now, notice something, guys. Here, if I don't know the previous information, if this is gonna be all the information, and let me Know what? Let me bring out the whiteboard. Okay, let's talk about new information, guys. Okay, 
All right, so you don't get confused. We're going to talk about new information, and we're going to talk about old, old information. All right. Now, guys, what is the new information that we got here? All right, if I say, let's say, um, if I tell you guys, I lived in California, right? Did you know this information? No, we didn't. All right, no, you didn't, right? You didn't know. This, this is why it's called new information. Okay. Now, if I tell you guys, if I tell you something like, um, I lived there, is this, is this new information or, or old? It's old information because you don't know what I'm talking about. Do you oh. know what I'm talking about? If I tell you guys, if it, well, if I told you, if I lived there, would you know what I'm talking about without previous information? Yes or not? Well, yes or no? Let me reformulate it then, okay? If I come to you, okay, and I say, hey, Gio, I lived, yeah. uh, let's change that, okay? You know what? I met her over there, okay? Do you understand what I'm talking about? If I told you I met her over there, would you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, that, that you that you met her in a specific, not a so specific place. Okay, who am I talking about? <laughs> this is what I'm referring to the old information, guys. In order to know these type of sentences, you need previous information, right? You need old information, yeah. okay? You need all the information. So that's what I'm referring to, okay? So now, think about it, okay? So if, if I told you, all right, Ricardo, I met her over there. Do you know who I'm talking about? No, I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to you about. Okay, all right. So you don't know, right? So what do we need? We need to introduce need the information, right? We need new For information, information. Right, guys. New information, yeah. All right. So here, Isn't guys. Okay. So you understand. Okay. We need. We need. You know. We need to have. Ah. Uh, all right. Anyways. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, just a, qu a question, David. Uh, the old information is something that maybe uh, have a or make a make a reference for a different uh, data or different information. All the information. It's, it's like, like a, re a reference. It's like a reference, yes, okay? You need to yes. know. So if I say, you have to, all the information is this, guys, okay? You don't know what I'm referring to, okay? You don't know what I'm referring to. Because if I say, hey, I met, you know, hey, uh, I saw it yesterday. You know, if I say something like, I saw it yesterday, guys, do you know what did I see? You, you, did you know, um, you, did, I'm sorry, did you know, do you know what I saw? What do you think? No. No, no. no, right? You don't know. Okay, so that is old information. Okay. All right. Then when we talk about new information, then we need new information, right? I met, I don't know. Um, I met Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie over there. Okay. So let's say I met Stephanie over there, right? Now, do you understand who I'm referring to here? Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Stephanie, right? Stephanie. We're referring yeah. to Stephanie, right? So I, so you know, you know, you know who I'm referring to, okay? And this is the difference, guys, between new information and old information, okay? Take a screenshot if you want, all right? Because because this then then we're gonna we're gonna take this, okay? And we're gonna I'm gonna teach you why is it that we're talking about these for verbs in the past, okay? So for tenses, I'm sorry, in the past, okay? Do we have any questions, guys? Do we do we know what new information and old information is? So, so. Yeah. All right. Very good. 
All right. So as long as you know, guys, what I'm talking about now, right, that it, that introduces introduces the information, right? So now going back to the presentation, guys. All right. So here, guys. Yes, we can say I lived in Leon, and that's it, okay? But what do we need, guys, in order for me to say that I lived in Leon? When do we live there? The time expression. I need, very good, okay? I need to have, to have new information, right? So you can say, for example, hey, where did you live? Where do you live when, uh, you can say, where do you live when you were a kid? See, now guys, wh what is the time? I mean, what is the reference here? What is the time reference here? Is it in the question or is it in the answer? In the question. All right, it's in the question, right? Hey, where did you live when you were a kid, okay? Oh, I lived in Leon, see? Why am I answering with that? I lived in Leon only, guys, because that is old information, because that is? Because that is all the information, guys. Okay, very good. Okay. So, yes, guys, right? All right. Uh, very good. So, example number two. Jaime, I'm going to read example number two. They have eaten Thai food. They have eaten Thai food. Very they, good. Have, okay. they have eaten Thai food. Okay. All right. Uh, compared to they ate Thai food last night. Okay. So what happens here, guys? So which is the action, guys? Which is the time reference here? And simple past. Last night. Last night. Okay, last night, right? Very good. Carla, would you please be so kind to help me read these two examples? Have you seen Otello? Where did you see Otello? Very good. Okay, have you seen Otello? Where did you see Otello, right? Now, here, guys, where am I being specific, okay? What is the time reference here, per se? Here, right? Let's talk about... Where, where? Where, very good, guys. Good job, okay? The where, see? Here, guys, we're not giving a specific, a specific reference, right? Here, we are giving a specific reference, okay? Very good. Good job. Thank you, Carla. All right, uh, Adriana... All right, Adriana, so let's read the last example. We didn't, we did you go? When did you go to Ireland? Okay, when did you go to Ireland? Repeat, where did you, when uh, did you go to Ireland? I, Ireland. Sorry. Okay, very good, okay. We have been to Ireland, when did you go to Ireland, right? Really, really good job. Okay, so where do I have the time reference here? Where do I have the reference? When? When? And when, right? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. Super, super good job. All right, guys. So another big difference, guys, is this right here. Okay. When we use present perfect, okay, this is also used, guys, for talking about experiences. Okay. All right. While simple past, okay, simple past is used to talk about, let's do this, okay, is used to talk about finished actions, okay? All right, with that being said, guys, that means that the actions from per present perfect continue in, uh, I mean, from, uh, continue in the present or might have. You know, uh, they they might have uh, they might have results in the present. Okay, so let's talk about. All right, that didn't work out. Okay, hold on. All right, so present perfect experience. Okay, and then we have right here we have. Simple past completed actions. Okay. So now let's take a look at these differences, guys. Okay. If I say something like, if I ask you, hey, um, Ruth, give me one experience that you've had. Okay. 
I, I don't want you to give me the full sentence. Just tell me, like, you know, my, my last vacation, maybe, right? Something like that. I have. I have been adopted a, a child. Okay. You, you were adopt, adopted or did you adopt a child? Uh, I adopted. Okay. Very good. See, all right. So here, guys. Now, if we, if you say I have I have adopted a child, right? You can also say I adopted a child, okay? But if I let's take a look at that example, okay? Although I don't want you to get confused though. All right. So let's talk about that in present perfect. All right. So when I say guys, I have adopted a child. All right, if I say something like this, when do you think it happened? Does it sound like it happened recently? I don't know. No, you don't know, right? But but if I say, guys, okay, that, that actually brings up the other the other usage for same present perfect and, and, and past simple, or simple past, okay? If you do something like, like this, guys, if you say, I adopted a child. Now, do we need a time reference? Maybe. All right, yes, right? I mean, it, it is it is advisable, guys, to use a time reference here, right? Because when I say I have adopted a child, guys, okay, it doesn't matter when you adopted it, you know? It actually sounds like very recent, like a very recent action, right? If you say I adopted a child, women, I adopted a child yesterday, right? See? Five years so this, ago. Or five years ago, right? So now, can I say, guys, I have adopted a child five years ago? No. No, you can't, okay? That, exactly, right? That wouldn't make sense, guys, okay? All right, I have adopted a child, guys. It doesn't matter when you adopted him, right? As long as... The time doesn't matter, guys, when you use present perfect, okay? The time does matter when you use simple past, okay? And that is the big difference right there. Also, guys, okay, when you say present perfect, the action still has, you know, repercussions in the, in, the, in, in the present, okay? For example, all right, you can say in present perfect, I have done my homework. Okay, so what if you say I have done my homework? Okay, now does that have any effect in the in the present, guys? That's my question. Does it have any effect in the present? No, it doesn't. I it think doesn't? it does. Yes. Okay, it does, guys. It does with the fact that now you know that now you 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 finished something, right? Now, we don't know, we still don't know what time we finished it at, right? But when I say, guys, when I say, I did my homework, okay, this action finished in the past and stayed there, okay? When I say, I have done my homework, guys, that means that now, okay, now you feel, there's, there's, there is the, the, the effect, guys. What is the effect of having done your homework is that now in the present, right, like right now, you probably had something else to do and now you can do it, okay? So it will have an effect in the present, all right? Any questions so far, guys? We're gonna see more examples, don't worry, okay? All right, very good, guys. So, uh, help me read, uh, let's see, Ricardo. Oh, I think you're I think you're reading but you're muted. Okay, if you want it, Gio, let's go. Yeah, okay, oh, okay. There, there you go, there you go. Okay, okay. Are you there? Are you are you there, Ricardo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. The, the, there is also a difference in, in attitude between the two tense, which is often an important factor is choosing which tends to use. Okay, between the two tenses, repeat. Between the two tenses. 
between the two tenses. Very good, okay, tenses, very good, okay. All right, so what does this mean, guys? Okay, let's take a look at the example number one. Uh, Jaime, help me read. What do you do at the school today? At school. I okay. used to... What do you do at, at school today? At school today? Yes. I use the simple past tense because the question is about activities and and the school day is considered finished. Okay. All right. So this is what this means, guys. Okay, is that the action already finished? Uh, finished in the past. Okay. All right. Now let's compare that with a simple present. With well, I'm sorry, with a present perfect question. Okay. Carlos de Leon, right? Would you please be so kind to help me read? Yes, sir. Um, the last, the last part is what have you done at school today? Uh, I use the present perfect because the question is about results. Show me the time at which the question is asked is considered as a continuation of the school day. Okay, very good. All right. So here, guys, we're talking about the results. See. So that's why I told you guys, when it has effects in the present, right? So what have you done at school today, right? The time at which the question is asked is considered as continuation of the school today, right? All right, anyways, okay, don't complicate your lives like that, guys. I, honestly, people don't think about this when they're speaking, but it is good, guys, for quizzes, okay? All right, um, it is good for quizzes, okay? Now, any questions? Let's, no questions, no questions, all right. So now guys, okay, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna a little bit fast guys, but uh, I'll let you practice, okay? Before we even do this guys, let's talk about, let's talk about all the usages we have for present perfect, and, I mean for, um, yeah, from uh, present perfect and past simple or simple past, okay? All right, the first one, guys, unfinished actions in the future. Where does that go? Does that go to present perfect or simple past? Present perfect. Present perfect, right? right. Present. Write it down, guys, okay, right? So present perfect, unfinished actions that start in the past and continue to the present, okay? And why is this? Okay, let's read the first example, Alexander. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. I. I really. I have no Julie for ten years. He is still now her. And I still know her. Good job. Okay. So now, very good. So guys. This. Uh. This. Did. Uh. Did. This action start in the past, or in the present? This it right here. Start in the past. Okay. The past. Okay. So this guess. Past. Okay, it's in the past. Okay, it started in the past, right? Do we know when? Ten years ago. Yeah. All right, ten, ten years, years ago, ago, right? Ten years ago. All right. Yeah. Now, guys. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we know, guys. Okay, right? We know that this action right here started in the past. And now, guys, what is? If I say, I, oh, you know what? I, I've known Gio for, you know, ever since he was a kid. Do I still know Gio? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, guys. Okay. All right. So see, that's the effect that we have in the present, right? That I will still know that person. So if I say I've known Julie for 10 years, that means that I still know her, right? Now, what about if I say... I, uh, Rosa, Rosa Navas, help me read, please, okay? Uh, the past simple example, right? Let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. So if I, if I say that, okay, if I say something like, like what, what, uh, Rosa is going to say right now. All right, yeah. let's, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Ah, okay. I knew Julie for 10 years. Okay, but... I knew Julie for 10 years. Just leave it there, okay? Thank you, Rosa. Thank okay. you very much. All right. All right, so if I say, guys, if, if, I, if I said uh, that I knew Julie for 10 years, do I know her anymore? 
No. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Maybe she died, right? Or maybe she moved mm -hmm. away. Right. Maybe she moved. Okay. All right. So is that difference understood, guys? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Now, second use for present perfect, okay? What is it? Finish action in someone's action. Finish action. Experience, right? Okay. Lab okay. experience, okay? My brother has been to Mexico three times. I have won the lottery. Oh, I have I have uh, traveled around the world. Okay, so then we use it for experiences, right? When the person is still alive. Okay, by the way, all right. Now, what about experiences when a person is dead? All right. What is the example that we have here? Uh, Ruth, would you please help me read? Um. Went. My great great grandmother went to Mexico three times. Three or three times. Three, three. three times. Okay, three times, three right? Times. Very good. Okay, good job. My grandmother went to Mexico three times. Okay. All right. So see, guys, does it does this mean that that, that she's still alive? Not anymore. No. All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, not right. anymore. Okay. Right. Next step we have. Uh, what is up next, uh, Nelson? Okay. Uh, finish action with a result in the present. With a repeat result. I, result. He finishes result. action with a result in the present. Very good. I lost my kids. Okay, very good. And what is the, the result of uh, losing your kids? The result of you having lost the keys is that you can't get in the house anymore, right? Anymore. So yeah. say, oh, I've lost my keys. All right. Now, what if I say I lost my keys yesterday? See? Does it have an effect in the present if I say I lost my keys yesterday? Mm, no, 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 there is no action, right? No action. All right. Now here, guys, remember, this is what we explained at the beginning, okay? When we don't give a time reference, okay, we use simple, uh, I mean, we use present perfect, right? So I've seen John this week, okay? <clears throat> All right, but we don't know when exactly, right? Now, if I say with a, with a finished time word, okay, last week or last month, yesterday, we know exactly when, right? So John last so week, all right? And those are all the usages, okay? Now, let's do something, guys. I'm going to get you together, and I'm going to send a screenshot to your uh, to your WhatsApp group, all right? And we're going to complete these exercises, okay? All right. Any questions, guys? I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, in the past uh, in image, uh, you have uh, my brother has been to Mexico. Uh, it is okay to say to instead to in it's actually two the preposition should be two okay great mm -hmm. thanks yeah to mexico all right very good very good guys so let me get you together and let's work on this okay and i'll send the i'll send the the, the screenshots guys okay let's work on it All right, guys, so I'm sending. 
the information over to the group right now. Okay. All right. So you got uh, you got what to do there. Okay. The exercises. Uh, Did you get them? Yes. All right. Yeah. Some <coughs> here. What the first one? Let me see. This. Hey. Okay, let's get to work, Alexander. Let's complete uh, the sentences. I can barely hear you, Alexander. I think he has some um, sort of problem with his microphone. Yes, right. Maybe you can just write it down on the chat. That would be easier. Right. And then let's do this once. Okay. So what you're going to do is that you're going to determine, you know, uh, to use, like, are you going to use uh, simple past or are you going to use present perfect, right? So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. The first one, it's simple past. All right. Good job. Continue practicing, okay? Um... Maybe. Uh, the four uh, last year. Maybe. Um, like that. Uh, is it it was. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you, you uh, try to do it in, in your notebooks and you're going to give me the answers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's okay. Any questions? Uh, no. I yeah. think we did. With the third one? With the third uh -huh. one, right? Let's see. Okay, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, <laughs> is the uh, getting a time reference is something that that that, that already that the action already stopped? What do you think? That's a good one, right? That's that's a little bit confusing, right? Yeah. Right. I have visitor. I have visitor. Remember, is yeah. is that an experience? Is that an experience? Is that an experience while you are alive? So if it is an experience when you are alive, that is is that present perfect or past simple? Oh. It is. It is simple. It, it is uh, present perfect, right? Right. Oh, okay. It is. It is present perfect. Okay. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right, guys. How are we doing? Uh, it's good to number seven, number, 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 number eight, eight. Number, number eight, uh, number nine. Number uh, eight. Is okay. I am going to be late. Is it the bus? Uh, sorry, I, I missed. I missed. I missed the bus. The bus. I missed. I am going. And the eight is. Play. Uh, I missed the, the bus. No, I, I have missed the bus. Um, and then, uh, some experience. I have. I have it. Missed. Missed the airplane as well. The bus, and then I have. I have missed. I have missed. I missed the bus. I missed the bus and then I have missed. The bus is I have missed. Both, both is missed. Have missed? Uh, have, have missed. 
Mm. I have this. I understand it's, a, it's an experience. Guys, right, so which okay. one are you working on right now? Sorry. So, so which which um which exercise are you doing right now? Uh, the number ten. Number ten, okay. Yeah. And so blah blah blah, maze the boss, and then and blah blah there as well, okay. Yeah. So, do you think? Do you think it's that would experience? be? Uh, that's that's not that's not an experience per se okay okay now you think about that, the, right? the other right. example try to think about hey did the action stop or does it have an effect in the present right my this recommendation my re i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, my recommendation guys would be to try to try to you know try to say it in your mind right and try to see what makes sense okay is it okay to say i have missed the boss and then i have missed the airplane as well does that make sense to you? Oh, okay. okay. No. no, it doesn't. It sounds horrible, pass. right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Right. So, this is, guys, this is what I, you know, English is not really that complicated, guys. Don't think too much about the grammar. Think about, hey, say it in your mind first. Does it make sense to me? No, right? That doesn't sound right. And then, you know, choose it from there. Because obviously, we're not going to remember all the rules, guys, okay? Yeah, but yeah. The, the context is in the book, in the simple part. Exactly. So the context will lead would lead you to simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. Okay. Uh, it's making reference to a to a specific number, date, I think. In number seventeen or, or eighteen. At seventeen. Yeah, but it's still she's still living in London. I uh, think. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, you're it, it, I think it's simple past. She live in London when she was a child. Number 18, what do you think? She lived. Okay, she lived in London. Uh, she was a child, okay. Yes. Mm. I, 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 I drunk? I drunk three cup of coffee today. Mm. Any questions, guys? Yeah, with the number uh, 10, I think. Like number 10. 10. Yes. With, with, with thing, uh, let the me, third. Let yeah. me, the, yeah, uh, yeah, everybody's having issues with that. But let me, let me give you a huge tip, guys. Okay. Let me ask you this. Do you think that, do you think that Americans know about these these rules nope <laughs> right no, so what do what do you think that they do but missed in every answer they use the same type of sentences in both no yeah. how, i mean how are they able how are you able to say something like this in spanish how are they able to say something like that in english you don't think i don't think when i speak spanish guys right I don't think about the grammar. I don't even know the grammar rules, right? <laughs> and nobody cares about that. Okay, so I'll tell you what, okay? Repeat them in your mind and tell, ask yourself, does it make sense? Does it sound good? So try to, all right. If you think it is simple, if you think that, it, that is present perfect, try to say it in present perfect and, and tell me if it sounds good for you. No, no. no. maybe just the first. I have missed the bus, but if you say, and then I have missed the airplane, is not, it's not make sense. The, okay, guys, how do I sound, guys? Oh, I have missed the bus, and then I have missed the airplane as well. It doesn't sound good. Correct. Yeah. All right. So then that's the answer, guys. Okay. A combination of both past tense and. I, I don't know. I it doesn't sound good if I say, I have missed the train, the bus, and then I missed the airplane as well. Does it sound correct to you? Mm, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> guys, is, if, okay, I, I, I never use Spanish, guys, but I'm going to do an exception this time. If I said, he perdido el bus y también perdí el avión, does it make sense, guys? Does it sound good? No, guys. No, no uh, tiene sentido. Guys, nadie dice, he perdido el bus y perdí el avión. No, no, no. No, right? 
No. Perdí el bus y el avión. ¿Y ahora? I, I missed the bus and then I had missed. And then, no. No, 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 no. no. I missed the bus. And I missed. Si yo digo, ay, si yo digo, perdí el avión y perdí el bus. ¿Tiene sentido si no? Yeah. Sure. All right, yeah. very good, okay. So okay. If, that's the same thing, right? I missed the bus and I missed the, the, the airport. Oh, Got it? Okay. Good. All right, very good. Yeah, very thank good. you. Thank you. So what I'm saying, guys, I mean, you can follow the rules. You can say, okay, why is this like this? Oh, because we're talking, are we talking about experiences? No. Is this an action that was completed in the past already? Yes, right? So the answer is simple past. However, guys, nobody thinks like that, okay? I like that like you shouldn't be, you know, thinking like that, right? You should okay. repeat it in your mind and then say, okay, no, that doesn't make sense. So the answer is like this, okay? All right. That's the best advice that I can give you. But good job, okay? Good job. Great, thanks. Thanks. Hello, guys. All right, how are we doing here? Okay. Fine. Any questions? Yeah, for example, if I say I have lived in, no, I lived in, in the same house for 30 years, but I don't live anymore there. I lived in the past during 30 years. How do you say that? Is that a past participle? What, what, what question is it? The thing, I understand that the past participle is something that began in the past and it is still affecting you. Or is no, it, no, you mean present perfect. Present that perfect. is present perfect. In yes. that some, is, if it is, is something that began in the past and finished in the past, but was uh, happening during a period of time, Okay, now during a period of time, that's a different topic. Okay, you're talking about present perfect continuous. Present perfect is, uh, it's for, you know, uh, you used, used it to talk about experiences, and it's something that happened that started in the past that has consequences in the present. For example, if I have been working in the same company for five years, for example. If you say I have been working in the same company, that's present perfect continuous. Ah, Present okay. perfect is I have worked. Uh -huh. All right. So that's that's the difference. What do you okay. have for what do you have for number ten? The thing is that we don't have the 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 page that you. Oh, I send I send it to the to the WhatsApp group, guys. Ah, it's a little <laughs> detail. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take a look at the WhatsApp group, guys. I sent the exercises there. Can you see them? I... And the WhatsApp group. Yes. I sent you 20 exercises. Oh my goodness. All right. Can you see them now? I didn't hear that. And the thing is that I'm not still in there. I'm not in the group. It's terrible. Oh, I'm sorry, I was muted. Uh, Jaime, uh, I'm sorry, I, I understood that you're not in the group, Rosa. Jaime, would you mind sharing your screen? Okay. All right. Uh, do you have access to the WhatsApp group? No, no, I, I don't have access. Oh, you don't, you're not in the WhatsApp group either? No. Oh, wow, okay. All right. A little bit. No. I think that uh, probably they, they send us, I don't have a, I don't have, uh, I'll, okay. Both of you don't have access to the WhatsApp group. No, I don't have access, yeah. All right, let me see if I can. That's a problem, you should be in the WhatsApp there group. Some, some WhatsApp group, yeah, this, uh, yeah, I need to activate it right now. 
Right now, I'm joining. Okay, right. Uh, Rosa, yeah. you should you should have received the one as well. Okay, I'm joining right now. I'm joining the, the WhatsApp group. Okay. And Rosa, you should have in your email, you should have the link to the WhatsApp group as well. Yeah, I should. But you, you have activated your, your WhatsApp group? No, right. no. So do me a favor, uh, Jaime, meanwhile, share the screen and do the exercises, okay? But, okay, but right now. Oh, I, I, need to, I need to send them again, right? Because you just joined. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right hold on. Okay. Okay, I'll receive, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll receive. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got him, right? All right. Yeah, the same. Yes, see, see all my friends. Yeah, they're all the same. Yes, it's the same. Yeah. All right. I don't know How are you doing, guys? Wait. Yes, okay. This part's yeah. okay. We finished. You finished? Hey. Yeah, but we have, I, we have, I think, uh, just in, in, in one, we, we want to be pretty sure about, uh, let me see which one, the, the, the number 10? The number 10, yes. Yeah, yeah. everybody had a question in this number is, 10. This is a, a, a path, a simple path and a, a simple person. Have, have the two. Also, it could be. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna we, do we, okay. <laughs> We're, let's, let's go back, okay? Let's go back and, and we'll analyze okay. that. Okay. 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 Uh, how do you feel with the exercise? Do you think that you you are experts now? Uh, nah, not too much, but we understand. <laughs> I think. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Let's go. I'm sorry, guys. I was muted. Nicely done, guys. Uh, most of you were doing a fantastic job. It's funny, everybody asked me the question about number 10. Number 10. <laughs> All right, so here's, let's let's talk about number 10, guys, okay? And then I'll, we're, we're gonna go over the, we'll go over the other answers, okay? All right, so number 10, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it was confusing, but uh, we'll, we'll solve it together, okay? So I, all right, this is what you have to do, right? I, right? So present perfect or simple past. Now, guys, we can follow the rules, guys. Yes, we can follow the rules, okay? Ask yourself, is this an experience? Yes or not? Yes, it is. No. No, guys, it's not no. an experience. Okay? No, no, it's not an experience, okay? okay? Ask yourself, okay, is this action, um, you know, does this action continue in the present? Yes or not? No. No, right? Very good. Very good. Okay, so with this, guys, we can conclude that we should use what? Present perfect or present or, or, or simple past? Simple past. Simple, simple past. past. Simple, simple past. past, okay, simple which, would past. Be, which would be correct, okay? Simple past. Now, guys, let me teach you an, another method, okay? The other method, guys, is just the natural learning method, okay? The natural learning method, okay? Here, guys, okay, people, guys, in, in, in both languages, you know, in, in any language, okay, right? You don't know why you, you say some things, you know, what, what's the rule behind some of the things that we say? But we say them, you know, we say them with good grammar. Right. Try to think about this. Okay. Try to say this, guys. Try, try to, try to pronounce this. Okay. I have missed the bus 
and then <laughs> Ray, I have me the boss, and then I have <laughs> Miss the airplane. To be airplane like this, guys. The airplane as well. So now, let me ask you something. Try to pronounce it, guys. Does that make sense to you? I have missed the bus and then I have missed the airplane as well. Uh, it, doesn't have sense. Sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so that's it, guys. I mean, we can understand, guys, when it doesn't make sense. You don't have to remember like a thousand rules, guys. Imagine like, imagine if all, if all Americans were thinking about the rules. They don't even know these rules, guys, okay? They have no idea why it is the, the way it is. The same as us, guys. We don't know why we say apiate, right? <laughs> apiate, right? What's the rule behind it, right? <laughs> right? We don't know, guys. I mean, we say it, right? Because we're used to that, okay? So the idea doesn't make sense, guys, okay? All right, and that's pretty much it, okay? So the answer for this was simple past and simple past, okay? Past and simple. All right, so... We're gonna we're gonna start, guys, with reviewing some of the answers that we have, okay? And we'll continue review them, reviewing them tomorrow, okay? All right, so let's go with the first one, okay? All right. So when I say, guys, last night I, what is it? I lost. I lost my kids. I had to call my flatmate to let me in, okay? Very good, okay? All right, now. Without knowing the rule, let's pretend that I don't know any rules, guys, okay? Would it make sense if I say I have lost the keys? Does it sound good, right? Ask yourself that. Last night, I have lost the keys. Even in Spanish, guys, if, even if you try to say it in Spanish, it wouldn't make sense, right? Ayer mm -hmm. en la noche, yo he perdido la llave. He perdido la llave. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, like yeah. That, right? Like, it doesn't yeah. make sense. All right, it doesn't make sense, right? So this is very good, guys, okay? So this is simple past, right? Uh, number two, guys, what's the answer for number two? I have, I have I lost. lost. I have lost. I have lost. Very good, okay. Now, one, because it makes sense. Now, but can I say I lost my keys? Can you help me look for them? Yeah. Yeah. Right? All right, can I say I have lost my keys? Can you help me look for them? <laughs> Mm -hmm. So what is it? Simple past or present perfect? What do you think? Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect, right? Why is it present perfect, though? Because, because it still has. Continuous. Very good. Okay, it has every. You know, it has a, a consequence in the present, right? Yeah. All right. Number three. What's the answer for number three? Have this simple past. Okay, I have visited Paris three times. Why? I have experience. Have experience, right? You're not in the Paris. And you're still alive, right? Last yeah. year, all right, last year, what? I visited. I visited, I visited Paris, right? So why, why don't I say last year I have visited Paris? Uh, at a specific time last year okay exactly exactly right and also guys because it doesn't make the like it way you listen to it it doesn't make sense right and number five guys what is the, the answer for number five i knew i knew i knew simple class i knew my great grandmother for a few years she died when i was eight okay good yeah. job okay good job well done guys okay you are ready for the pies now <laughs> so, anyways, um, that's it for today, guys. We're going to continue reviewing the, the other answers tomorrow. Uh, I think that you guys did an exceptional job. All right. Uh, the only, the only, I don't know why, guys, number 10 was kind of difficult for everybody, uh, but it happens, right? Uh, yeah. I think it got a little bit confusing, but that's the trick, guys. Okay. Try to pronounce it in your, in your mind. You know, if it doesn't make sense, then that's not the right answer. Simple as that. Rest <laughs> your God, okay. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for joining. All right, I'll okay. see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, guys. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Present perfect versus simple.